donkey of the day. That's pretty fun. Charlemagne the devil. <laughs> the Breakfast Club. Hey guys. Donkey of the day for Thursday, May 4th, goes to the Swanson Funeral Home in Flint, Michigan. Uh, this story will absolutely let you know that the water isn't the only thing they can't get right in Flint. Okay, now it's a couple places that I absolutely, positively, do not expect to get my order wrong. Chick-fil-A is one of those places, and a funeral home is the other. When I order a number one with cheese from Chick-fil-A, that's what I expect to get. Okay, Chick-fil-A is shooting a high percentage from the field when it comes to getting orders correct. I, I, I knock on wood. You know, have never had that experience at Chick-fil-A. All right. The, the only other place in the world I expect to have that high standard is any and every funeral home across the country. Their job is actually quite easier than Chick-fil-A. I mean, you have the funeral director who oversees funeral arrangements, uh, works with grieving family members, does a lot of paperwork. Then you have the mortician who prepares the bodies of the deceased for burial or cremation in some cases. Now, now I know you're saying, damn, Charlemagne, sounds like a mortician's job would be way harder than working at Chick-fil-A. Okay, maybe, but morticians and funeral directors don't have to remember to give you extra Polynesian or Chick-fil-A sauce, okay? Slightly higher degree of difficulty, people. But let's stay focused on the matter at hand. Swanson Funeral Home got someone's order wrong. Maurice Dunn, salute to that brother, had to put his mother Alice Dunn to rest last week. But when the family showed up to the funeral home to say their goodbyes, they realized that the wrong order was put in the casket. Go to WNEMTV CBS 5 for the report, please. I told him that's not our mama. Maurice Dunn says he had to put his mother, Alice Dunn, to rest last week. But when the family showed up to the funeral home to say their last goodbyes, what they saw left them stunned. A total stranger dressed in the clothing that my brother Joey and the wig selected for our mother. You heard that right. The wrong person put into the mother's casket. Dunn says once they alerted employees at Swanson Funeral Home in Flint that there had been a big mix-up. He says they started to deny it. And the, the funeral staff insisted that it, it was our mother and that a name band is the reason he definitively know that's our mother. It wasn't professional at all. Ellis's other son, Joe, says the funeral home eventually brought out their mother. They did not offer the family a lot of explanations except that um, it did occur. It now, did. I did catch up with O'Neill Swanson, the president of Swanson Funeral Home here in Flint. Earlier this afternoon, he told me he was going to give me a call back, so we called him back. Still no answer. We also reached out to the funeral home, and they're telling us that O'Neill is not available right now. Chick-fil-A would never. What? Let's unpack this, okay? If Chick-fil-A was to make this kind of mistake, they would own it. They would admit to being wrong. Swanson Funeral Home looked Maurice Dunn and the family in the face and insisted that it was indeed their mother in the casket. Now, I hate funerals. I don't go to them. I'm not going to mine if I can help it. But I have been to a couple of wakes, and yes, people look slightly different in the casket, but you still know it's them. But there's no way in hell you're going to tell me that's my mama when that's not my mama. Okay, imagine that. The woman that raised you. Yo mama, the vagina from which you came out of. Yo mama, you know what she looks like, smells like, sounds like. Even when she's dead, you know who your mama is. And this funeral home, the Swanson Funeral Home, tells you that your mama mm -mm. is in the casket. And you know that's not your mammy. Mm -mm. Are you dumb? And then when they finally realize the jig is up and concede that this is not your mama, they just wheel one body back and wheel the other one out like, my bad. <laughs> okay. This is the equivalent of you ordering a spicy chicken sandwich. You bite into it and it's not spicy. You tell Chick-fil-A it's not spicy and they say, yes, it is. You're like, I know it's not spicy. And they say, yes, it is. You say, hell no. I know what spicy tastes like. I eat spicy every other day. Then Chick-fil-A finally admits it's not spicy. And then they finally bring you your spicy chicken sandwich. But that would never happen at Chick-fil-A. And it shouldn't happen at a funeral home. Did you Please. compare a body to Chick-fil-A? I need you to relax. <laughs> please give Swanson, please give the Swanson <laughs> funeral home the biggest hee haw, please. <laughs> What I'm actually comparing is the fact <laughs> that it's two places I should never, ever get my order wrong at. And that's right. Chick-fil-A and a funeral home. I expect the mm. highest quality. Of spice. Yes. I'm hungry now. So what Me you want to eat? A dead body or some Chick-fil-A? Chick-fil-A. Same thing. Okay. <laughs> All yeah, right. It technically is the same thing. It is. It, it, it is. Dead yeah. chicken body, dead human body. It's technically <laughs> the same thing. Okay. The Breakfast Club. <laughs>